Chapter 2, The Bringer of Light Part 3, The Quest for Enlightenment Seeking the Supreme State of Sublime Peace Paragraph 12, And what is the noble search? Here someone being himself subject to birth, having understood the danger in what is subject to birth, seeks the unborn supreme security from bondage, nirvana. The unborn, i.e. God being himself subject to aging, having understood the danger in what is subject to aging, he seeks the unaging, supreme security from bondage, nirvana, the unaging, i.e. God. Having understood the danger in what is subject to sickness, he seeks the unailing, supreme security from bondage, nirvana, the unailing, i.e. God. Being himself subject to death, Having understood the danger in what is subject to death, he seeks the deathless, supreme security from bondage, nirvana, the deathless, i.e. God. Being himself subject to sorrow, having understood the danger in what is subject to sorrow, he seeks the sorrowless, supreme security from bondage, nirvana. Being himself subject to defilement, having understood the danger in what is subject to defilement, he seeks the undefiled supreme security from bondage, nirvana. The only undefiled thing I know of is God. This is the noble search. Part 4. The Decision to Teach. Paragraph 30. Then the monks of the group of five, thus taught and instructed by me, being themselves subject to birth, having understood the danger in what is subject to birth, seeking the unborn, Supreme security from bondage, nirvana. Attain the unborn supreme security from bondage, nirvana. Being themselves subject to aging, sickness, death, sorrow, and defilement, having understood the danger in what is subject to aging, sickness, death, sorrow, and defilement, seeking the unaging, unailing, deathless, sorrowless, and undefiled supreme security from bondage, nirvana. They attain the unaging, unailing, deathless, sorrowless, and undefiled supreme security from bondage, nirvana. The knowledge and vision arose in them. Our liberation is unshakable. This is our last birth. Now there is no more renewed existence. 6. 7. There are seven references to God in this paragraph. Just before that part, paragraph 25. Verse 4, I go now to the city of Kasi to set in motion the wheel of Dhamma. In a world that has become blind, I go to beat the drum of the deathless, the deathless, i.e. God. Chapter 9, Shining the Light of Wisdom, Part 5, The Goal of Wisdom, 33 Synonyms for Nirvana, Monks, I will teach you the unconditioned and the path leading to the unconditioned. Listen, and what, monks, is the unconditioned? The destruction of lust, the destruction of hatred, the destruction of delusion. This is called the unconditioned. And what, monks, is the path leading to the unconditioned? Mindfulness directed to the body. This is called the path leading to the unconditioned. Monks, I will teach you the uninclined, the taintless, the truth, the far shore, the subtle, the very difficult to see. That's funny because Sarupananda, when he's talking about consciousness, when he's talking about the self, he very often says that it's a, a truth very difficult to see. The unaging, the stable, the undisintegrating, the unmanifest, the unproliferated, the peaceful, the deathless, the sublime, the auspicious, the auspicious, that is, that is a word that Hindus love to use to describe their gods and goddesses. The auspicious, the secure, the destruction of craving, the wonderful, the amazing, the unailing, the unailing state, nirvana, the unafflicted, dispassion, purity, freedom, non-attachment, the island, <laughs> the shelter, the asylum, the refuge, the destination, the refuge. Durga means fortress. She's worshipped as a refuge, as a protector. The destination, 
and the path leading to the destination.